Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Ducking Port Alignment Indicator mod, which is being made by form user Navyfish. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a very handy tool to show you the alignment of your ships when docking, and it is very useful and really helps make docking quite a bit easier. And this mod's actually been around for quite a long time, I think released in 2013 originally, and it is still being updated to this day. In fact, that's why it got on my radar yet again, and why we're doing a video, because just a couple of days ago, it did update. So let's jump into the VAB and have a look at one of the very wonderful tools in this mod. Now, it's not an actual part, but if we pop a command pot on there and a docking port one of the key features in this mod is that you can easily cycle between which docking port you're targeting on a ship and we'll take a look at that in more depth in a moment but what makes it easier when you're cycling through is that you actually have the ability to rename an individual docking port. So you know that this particular docking port is, I don't know, port one. And then you could have another name port two or whatever in the world you want it to be named. So when you are cycling through them using the uh, mod UI, you can perfectly pinpoint exactly which docking port you need rather than having to click around on the ship manually. It's very convenient and very useful. And you can, of course, do it in here or the space plane hangar, but you can also do it while in flight. So you can do it in all those different places for your convenience. Now let's actually head out to space and take a look at that uh, naming in action and, of course, all the other lovely features of this mod with my uh, wonderful, and by wonderful I mean very quickly thrown together uh, docking port alignment indicator ship here. And let's start by actually just taking a look briefly at what we just were looking at. If I right click on one of these docking ports, we can, as you can see, rename it here in flight as well. And I did name, uh, rename these main ones here, but uh, not the ones around the side. So as you can see here, I have this one named Main Docking Port. And beyond that, the rest of this mod is all held inside this button here, which will open up this really great looking UI that's, well, basically a little instrument panel for our docking alignment. But before we look at that, just kind of before we look at the next thing and the next thing and the next thing, we have settings because, well, that's always handy. Now, the first one we have is display HUD target port icon. Now, that is the icon that actually shows on the docking port itself in the world whichever one you do have targeted, and you can turn that on or off by default. You can also select for it to be on when using Roster Prop Monitor, because this is fully compatible with Roster Prop Monitor, so it can show on any of the screens you want. And when you have it on RPM, you can again choose that, well, maybe if I'm looking through that screen, maybe it does or does not show in the world. Beyond that, we can also change the size of that icon, and once we actually uh, target something for docking, we'll, I'll show this again just to give you a better idea. Now next is the auto-targeting and cycling, and that's that wonderful feature I mentioned earlier where we can click on a ship and then cycle through the different docking ports using these arrow keys right here. Now you can turn that off if you want, but I don't know why you would. And a very important tool here is that you can exclude from that list docking ports that are already being used, which is very handy. Now, you can turn that off if you so desire to check around your docking ports, but by default, it is on. Now, beyond that, we can change the uh, GUI scale here and also invert the alignment X and Y, translation X and Y, and even the roll direction. We can invert all those things to whatever you prefer. Now, I'm actually going to make this a GUI a little bit larger here, just so it's easier for you guys to view, hopefully on the video and I'll leave the settings on so we can play around with the uh, target port icon so let's go ahead and decouple our ships here and we're now in control of this one as we slowly but surely float away let's actually uh, back up 
a little bit more. Oh yeah, docking controls, docking controls. Whoops, wrong way, <laughs> wrong way. Okay, there we go, let's slow down. And all we need to do to start the process, since we do have the auto-targeting on, is just select the ship. And there we are, we have our docking alignment indicator, and it's gone ahead and selected one of the docking ports. And first, there's that icon we were mentioning earlier, the uh, HUD target port icon, which if you watch it as I slowly drift away, we can turn on or off, and of course, make that thing larger or smaller, just as another visual indicator, which is always handy. Let's make sure we don't go too far away. Now, other features we have, like I said, we can cycle between the docking ports. Now, you still can, if you desire, to actually click on the part manually yourself, but you have this convenient tool where you can cycle between all different docking ports on the actual ship. And you can get an idea of some of the uh, fun tools that we have here for helping you find your way to the right alignment for that docking port. It's very useful. Now, as for the different tools that we do have here on our indicator, well, we have a couple of different things here on this, which we have two different circles, which are basically our angle to the uh, docking port. So what you want is the yellow and orange icons here to be lined up perfectly for us to actually have the correct angle angle where we're pointing at each docking port. Now these lines on the other hand are showing us that well right now that docking port is off to one side and higher than us. And so you just kind of mess around with that so if we adjust ourselves this direction you can see we're closing in on that target and once it's lined up with the center here we know that well we're on that sort of x-axis in the line for what we need and we can begin to slow down our movement okay a little bit too much there we are so we're now in line but we're still high we're quite a bit higher than this thing so if we oh boy i'm all over the place with my controls i think my controls are slightly backwards <laughs> but you can see now that i'm lowering down so too does that particular bar and now that well i'm in line on almost both of those axes we're pretty much you know almost good to dock we're just still a little bit off in the angle now we do also have the uh, distance over here which is a good to have so that is how far we are we also have sort of a relative distance and velocity so basically how far we're moving or how fast rather we're moving in relation and so very good things to know when you're coming in for docking now as for this icon over here uh, this is something you want to have in this location basically if I change it to rotational we can kind of move ourselves around here and well when that goes away it it means that we're way off and basically we have an arrow telling us oh god we need to we need to come back around to a more proper location and once we're actually within the sort of gauges uh, realm of operation here, it goes back down to center. So if I uh, pitch myself back up and leave uh, the instrument, there we go. We got the arrow. Bring it back down. It's back down there nice and happy. And of course, if we do change to another docking port, you can see that, whoa, boy, we're way off. Basically, the red shows us that we're, we really can't even properly align ourselves because we're facing the wrong direction. And it's telling us what direction we do need to go to to get there. But yeah, once you are, you know, relatively facing the right direction, this really does help you maneuver a lot more easily into where you need to dock and for someone like me who's not the greatest pilot ever by any stretch of the imagination it gives you a lot of extraordinarily useful information so that i can a lot more easily dock and it's just so cool having all these various things and i do love that it accounts for all the stuff rotationally uh, alignment wise it's just a very fun and useful tool. So if you'd like to check this out for yourself, which I would certainly suggest you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that's really all I've got to talk about with this thing. It's very useful, it's very cool looking, has some great options, and all in all is 
just a tool that you want to use in this game. It's just so great. Uh, but that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next episode, when hopefully we'll be looking to get another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!